Hi, I'm Dr. Rich Sherman, Chairman of the Department of Psychophysiology at Saybrook University. And I'm going to spend the next few minutes telling you what psychophysiology is. Psychophysiology is the study of interrelationships between the mind and body. It's a well-established field whose techniques are used in clinical education, sports, business, and many other arenas of life. Applied psychophysiology uses knowledge about how mind-body interactions should be to figure out why people aren't functioning properly and optimally, then apply techniques to help people recognize and then control those problems. Applied psychophysiology is usually used for assessments and interventions. The aim of the psychophysiological assessment is to produce information not available through other assessment approaches which provides highly specific information about physiological systems and responses causing and or sustaining problems. This information may be used to provide very specific psychophysiologically based interventions which rectify the identified problem. Migraine and tension headache assessment we can determine exactly what is causing this man's headaches. No need for random trials of miserable pills. No need for wrong behavioral approaches. The therapist knows what is wrong, can choose the most likely treatment, then track the physiology to see if the person is learning to correct the problem. Objective detection of ADHD and its subtypes. We use recordings of brain waves to determine how parts of the brain are working and especially how they're working together. This information is used to determine objectively whether the person has ADHD with nearly perfect accuracy. No need to base a diagnosis on subjective reports of nebulous systems, which could be caused by dozens of problems. Sports performance. We can figure out exactly why this soldier isn't doing as well as he should when he runs. We can record incorrect breathing patterns, which leave him out of breath at the wrong time. Muscle tension patterns, showing when he tenses, when he should relax. And brain waves, showing he isn't focusing when he should. Major psychophysiological interventions include biofeedback, neurofeedback, hypnosis, stimulation technologies, cognitive restructuring, optimal functioning, and relaxation training, including breath control training. These treatments really work. Excellent research with thousands of patients has led groups such as the Centers for Disease Control, the American College of Neurology, and the American College of Pediatrics to state that our treatments are to be used first rather than medications for numerous conditions. For example, behavioral treatments of migraine headaches are at least as efficacious as any preventive medicine. Treatments for irritable bowel syndrome are far more effective than any medical intervention. Biofeedback, after a psychophysiological assessment, identifies abnormal levels and response patterns of a physiological system, such as muscle tension. Biofeedback is used as a tool to coach people to recognize and then correct these patterns. Clients watch a display showing the momentary level of the system so they can relate actual levels of the system to sensations coming from their bodies. Neurofeedback. The brain's electrical activity is recorded from sensors mounted on the surface over various parts of the brain. Clients watch the patterns on a monitor, learn to recognize the patterns, and then control them. Optimal functioning. 
Psychophysiological assessments are used to identify patterns of physical and mental activity which prevent people from functioning optimally. They are then taught to control these systems so they can perform optimally in sports, school, and in the workplace. Biofeedback is frequently used to help people focus better, tense when they should, breathe properly, and reduce anxiety. Hypnosis. Hypnosis is a wonderful tool used to help people focus intently. Hypnosis can help people identify problems and work toward correcting them. It can be used to temporarily reduce pain and anxiety. Stimulation technologies. There are two main types, entrainment and pulsed electromagnetic fields. Entrainment. Parts of the brain perform their functions at different frequencies. Sometimes one part of the brain loses the optimal beat for performing its tasks. This causes all kinds of problems, such as depression and anxiety. Devices such as audiovisual stimulators provide the right beat for the brain to follow. The other type of stimulation technology is basically pulsing electromagnetic field generators. These send magnetic fields into a tissue with pinpoint accuracy. They can be used to increase blood flow to part of the body, cure headaches, help bones heal more quickly, and numerous other applications. That's the end of your overview. Want to learn more about psychophysiology? Think you just might want to get a master's or doctorate in psychophysiology? For more information, contact me at rsherman at saybrook.edu.